Well, good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is a country life. I say that all the time, but there's always a chance that you could be new here. I'm so happy to have you here. Here on my channel, you will see family life and homeschooling and gardening because it's starting to we're, we're getting we're getting into the gardening season here so you'll see that you'll see cranberry farming and then lots and lots of food so if that sounds interesting subscribe come along well today i thought it was going to be a lot nicer than it really is yesterday it was so beautiful warm out t-shirt wearing weather and then so today i was like well i'm just going to put on capris and flip-flops but with a long sleeve shirt. But as we're going about doing schoolwork this morning, I was like, I gotta put on my Carhartt vest because I'm freezing. And it seems to be getting colder and colder actually as it goes on. And now it's raining. And I mean, that's making everything green up, which we are so happy about. But yeah, it's just a, just a dreary, cold day. This is what our school table is looking like right now. We have had a whole lot of seat work going on. I lost Joe. We got a knock at the door. One of the turkey hunters wanted to show us um, his turkey. And then I lost. Joe went out to look at the turkey and when he came back in, I saw him sneak off back to his room. So I'm gonna have to go gather him, but I am working on the kids' notebooks. I don't do this for Joe, but I do do it for both Peter and Maria right now. I just keep a notebook and I write down what it is that they have to do each day. And actually Friday, I can't remember what happened, but we didn't get a lot of our um, seat work done on Friday. Yes, you can have that. We didn't get a lot of seat work done on Friday, so they're kind of transferring that to Monday. But then Peter did get his math done Friday. So anyways, I scheduled him new math to do today. Um, and we are just working. We just worked on easy grammar. I don't really think Maria even knows this, but this is actually the fifth grade level of grammar. Um, she's actually doing really well in it. I mean, I, I can tell that it is a little harder for her than for Peter, uh, but that's okay. I mean, that's not like this is the only time in her life she'll be doing prepositions, but we'll just keep building on it and building on it. So we just finished their reviews. So we did the whole preposition unit and now we are, they just finished up the review. And on Thursday, today's Monday, on Thursday, we will get back to grammar again because we alter grammar with spelling. We don't do grammar or spelling every single day. We alter it back and forth. So Thursday, we will get to grammar again and they will work on the test, the preposition test, because they're both ready for that. Peter is doing IXL for math, so I have that scheduled for him. And like I said, yeah, this is just a look at our school table as to what's going on. It's actually quarter to 11 right now, and the kids were hungry, so they are in the kitchen having a snack. And I think I'm actually gonna take this time to go and do laundry. Joe always collects laundry for me in the morning, and there's a lot. I feel like I did laundry over the weekend. Laundry, laundry. So I am going to get that pile. I am going to get that pile sorted. And we're going to start in on laundry for today. Well, we are all finished with our leftover lunch. I wanted to bake because I'm so cold, but I heard the dryer finish and I wanted to get out here even more and fold the warm clothes because it is just so cold in the house. This May weather is just so weird because in your head, you're thinking, oh, it should be warmer, but then you dress for it to be just a smidge warmer and you're just freezing all day. I haven't looked ahead at the forecast for the rest of the week, so I don't know if it's supposed to, if we're still supposed to be in a rainy pattern for more than just today, but boy, it is just pouring out. Richard! In an attempt to just kind of warm up the house a little bit here, I'm gonna bake. And so I have out all of these ingredients and you probably now can maybe guess. I'm going to make pumpkin bars with cream cheese frosting 
And so these are so easy. This is in cookbook number one. I've had a lot of different pumpkin bars over the years, but this one always comes through as, I just feel like it's the best one. It's just cakey enough to be kind of like cake, but it's also really moist, almost kind of like a bar. So they're just, they're just delicious. I'm going to put all of these ingredients straight into the KitchenAid bowl, and then I'm going to mix it. That's it. Mix it until it's all thoroughly mixed, pour them into a great big pan, bake them up in the oven. And even though it's a fall flavor, it's still a great recipe to make in the spring when you have a lot of eggs. Our chickens are really laying right now, and so we have an abundance. And if you have your own backyard chickens, I'm sure your chickens are laying very well right now too. If you ever see me use something, especially kitchen items, and you want to know more info about it, you can always check the description box. A lot of times I will link to the items that I use in my kitchen, and I do utilize Amazon a lot for linking. It doesn't mean I purchase the item at Amazon or that I'm recommending you purchase it at Amazon because oftentimes there could be a less expensive place out there to buy it, especially if you have the ability to get to like some local stores, kitchen stores, things like that, a Walmart, a Kohl's. It's just easy for me to just link it all in one place for you guys to just kind of at least go look at the item. Let's say I link to a particular kitchen gadget. Other similar gadgets are going to pop up there, other brands, and you can kind of do your own research and decide if the brand that I'm using or if there's a different one that would be better for you. Anyway, it's just it just makes it easy. So I have about 25 minutes for the pumpkin bars to bake. I got out my cream cheese, I got out the butter so that I can try to soften, although it's freezing in here. So I don't know how that's gonna happen. The kids are actually playing some sort of spaceship game. And so I just thought that I would work on editing a video. I have one that I wanna put out tonight and I have probably about 40 minutes left um, in editing on that video. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. All right, I just uploaded to YouTube my latest video. Let's see. It is called Trying Out New Recipes Over the Weekend. We made ice cream. Right, Peter? We made ice cream, and I made a new potato salad recipe. Did you try the potato salad? Mm -mm. Do you normally like potato salad? Mm -mm. No? And the ice cream, what was the verdict on that? Chocolate chip was way better than the rhubarb. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I'm going to get the frosting made. So I have a half block of cream cheese and a half a stick of butter. I'm going to mix that together with some vanilla and two cups of powdered sugar and get that spread on top here. In this particular pan, this has to go for 25 minutes in the oven, or it already went for 25 minutes. Don't put the frosting on and then put it in the oven. Um, 25 minutes and that was perfectly baked. I know I've said this multiple times today that it's chilly in the house, um, so even the frosting is firming up pretty quick. If your frosting is a little bit too thick and you don't think it's going to spread across the whole um, pan of bars, then just add a splash of milk, just a little at a time, because a little goes a long ways, but just a little splash of milk, and that will help it to be a little more spreadable. I didn't add any today. Uh, obviously, it's too late now. Tonight's supper is going to be really easy for me because I already had in the freezer from January some pie crusts that I made and then I wrap them in saran wrap, put them into a freezer bag and pop them in the freezer. Well, I had already done that in January. So today I just pulled them out, set them on the counter this morning to thaw. You know, when you're rolling out pie crust, just take your time. It's not a sprint. It's more of a marathon. Just give yourself a little time. Keep tapping the edges so it doesn't crack, and eventually you will have a nicely shaped pie crust. But it just takes a little bit of time and definitely some patience.
So I grabbed a jar of my home canned venison stew, and once I have the pie crusts rolled out, I'm gonna pour the venison stew right into the pie crust. I did, you didn't see this, but I did sprinkle about a tablespoon of flour on the pie crust first, just because the stew had a little bit more liquid than I would like. And I, I do, as it bakes, I want it to get a little bit more gravy-like in there so it's not quite so liquidy. Um, and then just put a top crust on. And then today I did try out a little different way of making the edge. I just pressed a teaspoon all the way around the edge and it's fine, it's not my favorite. I think my favorite is to pinch the crust and kind of bring up the pie crust and make it look kind of, um, I think they call it fluted. Anyway, I just think that that looks prettier than this, but this works. And I'm putting this in the oven at 425 degrees for about 45 minutes, about 40 minutes or so. And as soon as I smell it baking, that's when I'll check it for the first time, just to see if it needs to come out. If it does, I pull it out, let it cool for 15 minutes before cutting and serving. If it needs to go longer, obviously set the timer for five or 10 more minutes and then uh, check it. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. It looks like it got a nice, um, like a nice gravy-like consistency there, but we'll know better when we cut it. Uh, I'm gonna let this cool for about 15 minutes. That helps the gravy to kind of, um, I mean, I say solidify, but I'm not trying to get it solid, you know, but it just helps to kind of let it thicken up and set up a little bit so that when you cut it, hopefully, if all goes right, all of the filling doesn't slide out. If it does, so what? You just still take a bite of the crust with the filling and it's still just as good. So Peter just comes in to ask me a big and very important question, although then he sees this. But what was your question, bud? If we could go to Cranberry Creamery, the ice cream place in Pittsville, which has amazing ice cream. They do have amazing ice cream. <laughs> And he's really he was really working it pretty hard. Because I said we could get a chocolate waffle cone with mint chocolate chip. And mom was like, oh. <laughs> and then I was like, or you could get that thing that you like, which is that orange ice cream with dark chocolate. And she was like, oh. <laughs> but a good thing of ice cream can brighten up a gloomy day. That's true. Ice cream can brighten up just about anything, can't it? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, save it for tomorrow. <laughs> and then go to Cranberry Creamery. It doesn't serve up real pretty, but I think it's still gonna taste good. This venison pot pie turned out so well. It was absolutely delicious and we all really liked it. All right, well, when the ice cream store is open till 9.30, yeah. you gotta go, right? Yep. You yep. gotta go. Yeah, Everybody's excited. Yeah, again. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Yep, the exotic vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a vanilla kind of day. Mm -hmm. What did you get, Maria? Cookie dough. And how about you, Joe? What did you get? Cookie -co -co dough. You got chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip. What did you get, Peter? I got iced animal cookie. Mm -hmm. And this is triple chocolate. So now I'm just going to end the video here today with a little look at breakfast, I guess, <laughs> because it's pumpkin bars with the cream cheese frosting. At first I have that thought, I'm just like, oh, this is more dessert. But you know what? If I make some kind of cinnamon rolls with cream cheese frosting, quite honestly, what's the difference? So we're going to fry up a couple eggs here yet and eggs and coffee and pumpkin bars. That is going to be some delicious breakfast. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video here on this Monday. 
I'll pop up a couple more videos that you might be interested in if you liked this one, and hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!